The Nikon Z9 is capable of recording HDR video. To do so, enter the menu and select video file type as H265 10-bit. Tone mode should be selected as HLG. Take note, an external monitor like this Atomos Shinobi is required to monitor the HLG video recorded in this mode. After recording the HDR footage, we take the footage into DaVinci Resolve 17 for post-production. Take note that additional hardware such as this Blackmagic Ultra Studio 4K Mini and ASUS ProArt UCX monitor is required for proper monitoring of the HDR footage. Once Resolve is open, click here and open the project settings. Go to the Color Management tab and select DaVinci YRGB Color Manage. Select the Color Processing Mode to HDR. Select the Output Color Space to HDR HLG. HLG is the most common format and well accepted and backwards compatible. It is also accepted by YouTube. Take note to click the HDR mastering for 1000 nits as that is a requirement for HLG. Thereafter, select Save. Go to Project Preferences, Video and Audio I.O. Ensure that the monitor device is selected as Ultra Studio 4K Mini. Click Save and we are ready to go. I've already imported the footage under file that this was shot in 100p H.265 codec as shown earlier. The resolution is UHD and over here, we shall drag the file onto the timeline. As you can see, the footage is already looking pretty good. Just take note that this screen recording is unable to show the through HDR output. You can properly monitor the full 1000 nits on the monitor. But do take note to select the menu as HDR HLG for the monitor. So once the monitor is set and you're happy with your edit, go to the color tab. The first thing to do is to come here and click on the waveform scale style to select the HDR scale. And you can see instantly that the scope is now correctly set at 1000 nits and it corresponds to the image. The two brightest areas, which are the sparklers, are clipped and the darkest areas are here. To right click and look at the input color space. When scrolling down, you will notice that Resolve has automatically selected Rec 2020 HLG. And this is a function that is with the color management workflow. Resolve would automatically select the correct color space to work with. So the first thing that we want to do is to go to the HDR color wheels. You'll notice here there are three color wheels. In fact, there are four of them. And you can click to see what these areas are. So, for example, if we want to stretch the shadows and crush the blacks, we just simply pull this down and you'll see the corresponding shadows going down and the image is also getting darker in the darker areas. Do take note that in this screen recording, we are unable to show the full HDR output. And in the shadow areas, we can also bring this down and you can see the curves correspond as well. In the light areas, you might want to take it down and this is a really a matter of taste what is your preference and you can also check what are the highlights and also take them down accordingly but do take note that as they are already clipped there are, there's no way to recover them but this is probably good enough now this footage was shot in 100p 
So we have gone back to the Edit tab to bring this down to 25% and change. And now we have a beautiful 25% slow-mo. And now we go back to the Color tab and over here, we can turn on and off and see the difference. So this is probably a good point. And do remember to label. Once you're happy with your edit, click on the Deliver tab. Enter the file name and the location. Do take note that for HDR footage to be recognized by YouTube, H.265 is the most size-efficient codec. Make sure to select Main 422.10 codec. In this case, as we are using the color management workflow, there is no need to put the color space tag and gamma tag. Just leave it as they are, add the render queue, and render. And there we have it, a HDR workflow for the Z9.